Did we just trigger something? Perhaps some new devices are working now. Now this part I'm good at. his exercise. The rune's guiding light? Magical girl Malore is coming to get ya!
That doesn't even count as exercise. This magical girl just powered up. You're mine! Kobibi! Let's do this! against this training. I had way too much fun with that. Even I'm a little impressed.
Now this part I'm good at. a chance against this training. That doesn't even count as exercise. I just keep getting better.
fun. Exercise. Looks like there's a switch through this hole. There's no way we're squeezing through. What about me? Let me try. C courage, Kalathor. There is nothing to be scared of. Is he gonna be okay? in here if I do not make haste my branches will stiffen and snap be brave Calathor the Dendriarch is counting on you Master, you stump! You are keeping the sirs and madams waiting! Hmm. What is this cord? I will give it a pull! Enemies! What do I do? I know! I will hide in this box! I did it! I have reached the switch! Okay in there? I heard a scream. Isa, everything was just fine. Come, there is no time to lose.
Any last words? You're mine! What you get?
Guys, heads up. A rune golem? It's... it's massive. Huh? It's not moving. Is it dead? Now what? <sighs> I have a very bad feeling about this. Weapons up. Now this part I'm good at.
not doing good here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Magical cutie missile! Uh, come on! Ah. Ow. Okie doke.
did it! Even I'm a little impressed. Are we there yet? Feels like we're about as far up these ruins rear end as a fella can go. Shh. Did you hear that? Ha <laughs> ha! Cut you with your pants down! I know that voice. Lean! <gasps> Lean! I don't know who you are supposed to be, but that's ours, and we'll be taking it back! Now! You're Schmores! You stole it from the tree folk, and now I'm stealing it back! What you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing! That's what! <sighs> Kill her! Any final nuggets of cleverness you'd like to share? Uh, just one. The runes smile on me, cause I'm the luckiest girl alive! So you best skedaddle before reinforcements- Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're right behind you! What? It seems the luckiest girl alive has run out of fortune. Dang it! What the? Oh my gosh, look! They really are behind you! <laughs> Come now. You don't really expect me to... Ween! You in here? There! Look! Come here, you pest! I need a hostage! No! No! -uh. You stay back! Oh yeah! Nailed it! Just call me... The luckiest girl alive! Why is this happening to me? Ugh. I don't know, but those reinforcements she wished for are coming this way. Come on, Marissa! Let's get them! You! You're the monster who attacked my village! Sorry, have we met? I've done a lot of terrible things in my day, and all the despondent faces tend to blur together. How about my face, then? Oh, I never forget a traitor. Or a tailed freak. And now I see you're wagging that disgusting appendage for the League. I should have expected no less from a half-breed. The hatred's mutual, fathead. <laughs> you bothered to chase us all this way? What dull lives you must lead. Who let a damn mask in here? If you're slinging that epithet around, you must be a guardian. Well, you can unwrinkle your scowl. We found no primal lens here. Shut up! You're nothing but a thief and a marauder. 
This is like multiple fated encounters all at once. That lean kid really does have luck by the short and curlies. Let's go, you scoundrels! Leon's gonna put you in your place! <laughs> As if the dregs of the League could ever defeat me! Now this part I'm good at. Ha! 
for that. weaklings and a bunch of their pet animals you're coming with us you sullied the watch's name and now you're gonna help us clear it you too mask sorry love but the conclave of the dawn keeps a busy schedule and you're not on it no you wouldn't dare what's she doing well, my Imperial Minion, it's been fun. As for you, my young guardian, well, I feel certain we will meet again. No, stop! <laughs> Why, that slimy two-faced traitor! 
<laughs> Looks like you'll be facing the music alone, mate. March, brigand! Hop, hop, hop! What's wrong, Kalthor? I feel as if someone calls to me. What do you mean? I, I am not certain. It's not a voice. More... A feeling. The rune of proven verdure. I thought Lane ran off with that. Uh, unless this is a different one. Maybe the Barrows were waiting for you. Waiting? We Guardians believe every Barrows is waiting for the right someone at the right time. In this case, I think that might be you. And it's a Guardian's duty to protect the Barrows until that crucial moment. Waiting... So they were waiting for me and Sane too? What do you mean you got the rune back? That girl had it when she emerged from the Proving Grounds. Lean? Well, I'm glad she's all right. Although I kind of figured as much, honestly. Then what is this rune I have? Come closer, Kalathor. We Treefolk believe it is right to cherish the old and cling fast to traditions of yore. The Dendriarch believes that is why this rune was bestowed on you. For you are drawn to the outside world and all things new. You alone can lead the Treefolk down a different path. But how can... Old things can be good or ill, just as new things can be good or ill. But you never know what you have until you experience what is missing. The Dendriarch wishes you to venture into the great unknown, so we might all cherish the old that much better. Then I am permitted to leave? It is what he desires, yes. All right. You saved me, the Dendriarch, and all the tree folk, and I am ever so grateful. Do you think I might come with you? I would like to help. I like that, Kalthor. So, what about Lean? <gasps> Lean! Is she still here? I was wondering why we haven't seen her. I about that. After returning the rune to the Dendriarch, she took off in quite the rush. Said something about having big things to do. <sighs> <sighs> well, maybe we should return to our village. Lean might try and make her way there. If I see her, Noah, I'll tell her to seek you out. That's what you want, right? If you wouldn't mind. Stop! Who are you? Where did you come from? Another raider! What? Noah! Wow, I didn't expect to find you here. Talk about your crazy luck. The spy Hurstwine is enjoying the comforts of one of our cells. 
Now I would hear from you, Sabine. If you're safe, I trust the Lady Periel is as well. You don't gotta worry. Me, the Lady, and that butler fellow went east before crossing the desert south into Eucharist. Periel said she's on friendly terms with their king, and that he'd help her out. But I thought we agreed to meet here. The Lady said you and Emir could hold down the fort, which gave her a chance to, and I quote, take the initiative. <laughs> Sounds like her, all right. Ah, <sighs> yes. It most certainly does. Thing is, while we made it to you, Chris, the negotiations ain't going so hot. So, she sent me here to fetch a little help. You crossed the Great Wood by yourself? Madness. Well, we live in mad times. Also, I had a little help from someone in you, Chris, who knows the route. King Yumashirith and Lady Periel have known each other since they were children. But though you, Chris, was the first nation we reached out to before the Battle of Eltisvais, reinforcements never arrived. Near as I can tell, the Yuma kid wants to help. But he ain't the most forceful sort, and he's surrounded by nervous pillow sitters who don't want to get on the Empire's bad side. What? They're playing nice with the jerk faces who invaded Eltisvais? The Empire has been selling a different story. They claim the invasion was in response to border violations committed by House Groom. Besides, the League of Nations is hardly a monolith. Just a bunch of little fish all looking out for number one. Regardless, Perry's counting on us, so we should head for you, Chris. Perry? Uh, I mean, Periel. You know, the lady? Lady Periel? Better. I can show you the way. Won't even gripe about how I just got back from the place. But first, we need to pop by the Tree Folk Village. Oh, oh, pick me! You gotta pick me! I'll smack some sense into those Empire loving dummies. Hi -ya. Would the provisional leader and oh, fantastic captain be so kind as to select the rest of his traveling companions? Count me in! For love and friendship! You've come to the right healer. Concerned as I am, I'd best stay and manage things here. Can I trust you to look after our benefactor? Her ladyship, Countess Periel. Got it. Thank you. And yes. mood, are we? Harder now.
why, thank you. Please come by any time. I have things to do, you know. If there's anything useful around, I'll find it. Off with you. Some stress relief, perhaps. about you. Well, now that I've seen you hale and hearty with my own eyes, I have so much news from home. You remember Nala from the house behind us? Well, she had her baby and oh boy, was that ever a hullabaloo. Whole village threw a big celebration. Took me right back to when you and Lean were born. Oh, memories. Shame you had to miss it, but don't forget to drop in and wish her well next time you're home. That's just good manners. Aunt Martha, I can't believe you're here. How's the village? Oh, repairs are moving along just fine, don't you fret. You recall how handy Aless is, right? Well, he's been going around fixing up a right storm. Man's a force of nature. Oh, and Millie, you remember Millie, right? Well, that little darling is all grown up, and she's apparently taken quite a shine to somebody. Anyway, it's only right that we fix the two of them up. Know any matchmakers around here who could help? Um... Oh, and what's this I hear about you becoming some kind of big fancy leader? My little Noah, moving up in the world! Well, you're going to need all the support you can get, which is why I've decided to work here on the farm. Can't fight on an empty stomach, you know! Auntie, please, slow down. I can't... Up, up, up! Not one more word from you, mister. From this day forward, I'm putting my nose to the grindstone just for you. Oh, and if you think your meddling is impressive, wait until you see the table groaning under all of my delicious food. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Where do you keep your farm tools? I'll need seeds, a watering can, a, a wheelbarrow, some string. Yes, sir. It's time to roll up my sleeves. Now, you get on with your own work, Noah. Don't pretend you're not busy on my account.
How you doing? Swing back. Hundred shots, hundred bullseyes. You wanna see? Yeah. 
it, folks. Okie doke. You're done. That's what you get. you get. Exercise.
strikes. Okie doke. Big mistake. this. next time.
cleaned right up! So it's back to the Tree Folk Village. I know already! Can't we just like pursue there somehow? Like with a rune lens. A rune lens of pursuing! I know rune lenses adapt their power to a wielder's talents, but I don't know anybody who can use pursuing. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Looks like we're hoofing it. next time. Exercise. Magical cutie missile! 
Tactical Missile! That doesn't even count as exercise! Big mistake. The Grey Branches bid you free passage. Go in peace. Eucharist is just through here, right? By the rune's guiding light, magical from the Lord is coming to get ya! Out of here! Magical cutie missile! Come on! Damn it! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Throw me someone stronger next time. Nice. I can feel the improvement.
doesn't even count as exercise. I just keep getting better. Just hate resorting to violence. next time. We've reached the border of you, Chris. So, where is Perry? Sorry, who? Uh, sorry, Lady Periel. Where can we find her? The Eucrisian capital, Haishan. It's on the coast east of here. Okay, let's get moving! as exercise.
do this! Stronger next time. I am grateful for any opportunity to grow.
colors. They just scream, look at me, drink me up. And this necklace, amazing. I think I'll buy one of these for that yummy little mignon I met earlier. I just love a town that's thriving. The shops are always dripping with the latest clothes, the latest accessories, the tools, the traps. And the eye candy ain't so bad either. Am I right or am I really right? Hmm. Um, hi. Oh no, I did it again. Blasted a boy into silence with my stunning good looks. It's okay, you're allowed to speak to me. Wait, aren't you the Alliance's commander? Noah, right? You've heard of me? Of course I have. Who do you think I am? I, I don't know. Ah, of course. Mea culpa scusi. The name is Pastol, but you can call me Pastol, hunter with the most game. You want game? That's amazing. Where's your rifle? Rifle? Oh, perish the disgusting thought. Like I'd allow the stink of gunpowder on these clothes. So you use a crossbow? Or a knife, maybe? That's a nuh -uh to crossbows. Way too heavy, and they chafe my back. You might catch me using a knife, maybe? Okay, how then? Traps, mister. I trap those honey bunnies, and then I move in and slay them, if you catch my driftwood. It's not a question of if Pastol gets you. It's a question of when, and possibly how often. Buongiorno, my little mignone. What the heck? Phew, I think they were in a bad mood. I'll try again later. Is that your usual style? Style? Oh, my clothes! Aren't they fab? They turn all the heads. Good for luring game, too. I have absolutely sashayed a boar into a bear trap. Impressive. Your takeaway here should be that A, Pastol's traps are astonishingly unique, and B, with those traps, Pastol hooks a lot of meat. Sound like someone you'd find useful? Welcome to the ranks. That's my Noah. One squeezy hug for you! I assume I'm pointed in the general direction of your castle. I'll see you there. Ready or not, minions, pastoles are coming!
<laughs> Throw me someone stronger next time. I just keep getting better. Big mistake. Go! Exercise. I am grateful for any opportunity to grow. Sean. Sure is. I'm guessing we'll find Lady Periel either at the palace or the inn. The inn? She booked the biggest room they had. Didn't want to stay at the palace in case the walls had ears. Gotcha. Then let's go find her. How's that? The Alliance seeks to hire a culinary mind. Huh, hmm, yes, an intriguing thought. Alas, I'm already on a mission to find a recipe for the legendary dish known as Grilled Tatuva. I'm told the people who devised it are all bark and, um... Well, that's it, actually. All bark. Whatever could that be referring to?
So this is where Per- uh, where Lady Periel is staying? I have had it up to here with the local aristocracy! It's as though they think of nothing but themselves! Milady, perhaps you might lower your voice? Ugh, why bother? If there are spies afoot, I will happily scream my thoughts into their ears! Ask yourselves this, spies! Which do your masters value more? Their country, or their personal wealth? Now come, Janquis! Noah, Sabine, impeccable timing. It's good to see you safe, Perry. And why wouldn't I be? I had my secret passage, remember? Now then, I understand you're doing a fine job with my resistance army. Tell me everything. So that's what you're calling the castle now? You like it? A passable name, I suppose. Milady, I believe it's time. Ah, indeed it is. Noah, come with me. We'll be joining a conference between King Yuma and his Chamber of Lords, strictly as observers, I'm afraid. But I still wish for you and the others to attend me. Save for Jenquis and Sabine, who shall remain here and set up a means to communicate with Emir back at Castle... Castle... Uh, yeah, castle whatever. Can't imagine anything more boring than a council, so glad to be counted out. The general's strength is yours, ha! Oh, will I be traveling with you? Not to question you, milady, but would you not prefer me at your side? Do not treat me like a child, Jane Quest. Now, relay my dinner order to the kitchen as we discussed. Uh, and tell the cook to use a little spice this time. Sorry. Where are we going, exactly? To the palace! It's on the north side of town! Welcome, Countess Perio. You may enter. My thanks. What's on the table for this big shindig? A letter has arrived from Dukes Aldric, in which he proposes a new relationship between Eucris and Galdia. 
which I take to mean leaving the League of Nations and joining the Empire side. Betray the League? What kind of scoundrel would agree to that? Listen to you. You've the fire of a resistance leader already. And you'll soon see for yourself what manner of scoundrel would scheme such a thing. Pray excuse our tardiness. Ah, there you are, Periel. We're just, uh... Well, it's good of you to come. Right this way, if you would. Of course, Mere Majesty. Ah, Countess Groom. You must be quite the important woman indeed to keep His Majesty waiting. No, no, it's all right. I promised her I'd wait, and, uh... Nevertheless, permit me to remind you of your position. You have been invited here to observe, and only to observe. And who, pray tell, are these people? My humblest apologies, Lord Harlan. If I may, Your Majesty, I would like to present Commander Noah, the young founder of the Resistance Army. Or, nay, founder of the Alliance a group which seeks to defend the League of Nations from Imperial invasion. Resistance army, is it? Um, well, I, I don't... And let me present myself! I'm Leon, and I'm basically his second-in-command. An alliance? Well, that sounds most prom... Ahem! Let us move on to the matter at hand, your majesty. Dukes Aldrich of the Galdian Empire seeks an alliance with us, and we must decide if we will accept his terms or no. I believe the Dukes to be a rising star within the Empire, and think there is much we could learn from his bold leadership. I see this offer as a major opportunity for you, Chris. Especially compared to some up-jumped mercenary and whomever else comprises his alliance. Are you mad? This is the same brazen tyrant who invaded Groom! His true intentions could not be more obvious! Countess Groom! May I remind you that you are an observer here and nothing more? I expect you to restrain yourself in the presence of His Majesty. Ugh. Sorry, Periel. Um, but Lord Harlan, I think, uh, well, maybe there might be some merit to what Countess Groom has to say. Ah, but this is distressing indeed, Your Majesty. You know I have worked tirelessly for you, Chris, ever since your father sat the throne. Yes. I have long been one of House Sharith's most faithful servants, and yet now you claim to have no faith in my perspective? Never mind that House Fallmire nearly beggared itself to support this country in its year of famine. Take heart, Lord Harlan. King Yuma knows well both our family's loyalty to the realm. I am sure he did not mean to dismiss your many great deeds. No, of course not. We should act in due haste to inform Dukes Aldrich that we agree to his terms. Without a fight? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> oh, but you do say the most curious things, Countess Groom. Dukes Aldrich has kindly extended to us the hand of friendship and unity. 
If you would speak of war, then tell me what guarantee we have that Eucris's army would prevail. We cannot permit our great nation to fall while under your majesty's watch. Y yes but Cassius? You need only to give the order, your majesty. And I shall battle the Empire with everything I can muster. And what then, General Cassius? Can you promise us victory? Can you guarantee his majesty that we will emerge triumphant? <sighs> the Galdian Empire is more than just Dukes Aldric. They have the renowned General Goldwyn as well. I would be a poor military man indeed to assure ultimate victory. There, do you see? No assurances. And if General Goldwyn were faced with our General Cassius, would he promise the Empire victory? What? It's a fair question, don't you think? Even the best generals know there are no guarantees on the battlefield. And in fact, they likely know this fact best of all. Of course, all I know of the matter is what I've read in books. General Cassius, however, speaks from decades of experience. But perhaps, Lord Harlan, you have another opinion? Do you believe our esteemed General Cassius is guaranteed to lose? Uh, well, I... Well, Harlan? No! No, of course I don't believe that. But this argument is mere sophistry. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand. Melridge, you were summoned here to draft our reply once this matter was settled, not to sow doubt in his majesty with rhetorical nonsense. Quite right, quite right. I do apologize for any confusion I may have caused. That said, there is still time before Dukes Eldrick will expect our reply, and His Majesty seems exhausted. Shall we table the matter for today? But... Your Majesty! Oh, um... Yes, I think so. Let's give it a little more time before we decide. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? It's been an entire week of that. Ah, uh, but aren't you and the king supposed to be friends? Groom and you, Chris, have enjoyed favorable relations for generations. And I visited many times as a child. We are acquaintances of old, but I would not go so far as to say friends. You, Chris. You see, is one of the three great powers of the League, along with Norstar and the Dragon Newt Nation of Kinon. My little groom is of minor significance in comparison. Nevertheless, I am told that at the untimely death of Yuma's father, the Queen hid herself away in grief. And now, Yuma has come to ascend the throne. He and I come from very similar circumstances. Yet, you have such different personalities. Hmm? Uh, yes, well, even as a child, Yuma was never very decisive. You think maybe he's afraid to defy that Harlan guy? To be fair, the previous king was quite beholden to Harlan. That is why the man was first given his station. A station he has leveraged for all it's worth. <sighs> anyway... We should not tarry here long before returning to the inn. I have no desire to run into Harlan again. Wanna poke around a little until it's time to go?
Hey, uh, you're the fellow from the Alliance, right? Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't eavesdropping on the conference. I just, uh, ha happened to catch that one little part. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oops. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I'm Yulin, King Yuma's handmaid. So, um, please don't think ill of his majesty. I know people call him indecisive, but they've got him all wrong. He's a very kind ruler, you see, and he worries about making decisions that lead to people getting hurt. you been? We should return to the inn at once so I can continue brooding about a solution to this problem. Do you think there even is a solution? Well, I guess we could... Wait, no, sorry, I got nothing. Countess Periel, His Majesty Yuma is here to speak with you. May I open the door? Of course. Please, enter. Hello, Periel. I had a little extra time and was hoping I could see you. I'm most pleased you've come to visit. I only wish it could have been for one of our usual goodwill summits, instead of this most unfortunate situation. Oh, um, yes, of course. I'm terribly sorry about your country. Your name is Noah, yes? Did you rise up to fight for Pariel's sake? Yep, it was all for her. Oh, it... it was? What? It so was not! What a big fat liar! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, well, don't! <laughs> I see, I see. Kidding, is it? Hmm, such a pity. Huh? But never mind that, Yuma. Let me ask you something. Not as the Countess of Groom, but as someone you've known since we were both small. What do you intend to do? Will you fight? Or will you place your trust in Dukes Aldrich? Well, I, uh, I just... The truth is, um, I don't know what the right choice is. If you stay the course your advisors are laying for you, Eucharist will be at the Empire's mercy. No, worse, at the Duke's. But if we fight and lose, my people will fare far worse. Perhaps, um, the Duke's made a mistake in attacking your country. If so, you could maybe still talk it out? Your Majesty, you're gonna be late for your next... Oh, is it that time already? I'm sorry, Periel. We'll continue this later. Countess Grum? Commander Noah, I bid you both good day.
Ugh, same old Yuma. He never changes. We need to find some way to help make up his mind. Come on, people. Ideas. Uh, sorry, but I'm not much of an ideas man. Hmm. Nope, still nothing. But let's think while we walk. Maybe some exercise will knock a good idea loose. Not the worst plan I've ever heard. Be traveling with you? What's this place? Guests, is it? How unusual. I remember you from the conference earlier. Please, come in, come in. I see, I see. You seek some method of swaying His Majesty. But why would you bring this matter to me? Because you were the one who stood up to Harlan at the conference. Ah, uh, yep. You were all like, but riddle me this, jerk. And then everyone got distracted and nothing was settled. <laughs> yes, I suppose I did do something along those lines. I admit to being less than thrilled with the prospect of giving Lord Harlan free reign to transform our relationship with the Empire. Agreed. We cannot permit Dukes Aldrich to have his way on this. Lord Harlan has been advocating for cuts to the studium. Should he gain too much power, I might find it hard to continue living in the comfort to which I've become accustomed. You don't say. Noah, are you even listening here? This guy's just in it for himself! Correct. Not that merely whittling away Lord Harlan's power will change much in the long run. Your name is Noah, yes? Well, there may be a way to change things if a person was so inclined. Countess, did you know Lord Harlan purchased an old manor on the outskirts of town last year from another member of the Chamber of Lords? He's apparently so fond of it that he made it his primary residence. Well, bully for him. What of it? I hear the manor has recently seen quite the stream of unfamiliar faces hailing from foreign lands. I wonder if some might be messengers from the Empire. At the same time, security around the manor has been tightened to the extent that actual Eucrisians are rarely allowed inside. So, uh, this matters why? 
He's implying that Lord Harlan bought a manor on the outskirts of town in order to meet secretly with foreign agents. Mm, smells like treachery. And one more thing. On the southeast side of Haishan, you'll find an old part of the city known as Lost Town, which was flooded out long ago. While Harlan's house of mystery may be under tight guard, one could easily slip in by way of Lost Town, were they so inclined. How do you know all that? Oh, I've been poking around for holes in the man's armor for some time now. This guy is incorrigible. So you're suggesting we sneak into Harlan's manor and search for evidence linking him to the Empire? I'm suggesting that if one were to find such evidence, it could be a breakthrough in terms of the pending alliance negotiations. While I am not fond of proposing tenuous plans, sometimes needs must. Tenuous certainly beats sitting on a sofa and doing nothing. Be aware that Lost Town is said to be infested with monsters. Anyone heading there should take all necessary precautions. We'll be careful. Thanks. He said Lost Town is on the southeast side of the city, yes? Uh, yup. Now let's go dig up some dirt on Harlan. Yeah. Let's see how noble he feels when we're done with him. I think you might be losing sight of our objective here. Never fail the gate. Now what? Is this the right? This must be Lost Town. Lost is putting it mildly. The heck happened here? There was a terrible disaster years and years ago. It was long before my time, so I don't know the details. So, if we make our way through this place, we'll be able to sneak into Harlan's Manor? Uh, yep. Or that's what Professor Smarty Pants said, at least. a way forward easily slip in my foot the good scholar needs to get his facts straight anybody got a smart idea we've got to figure something out here wait i know how about that girl we made friends with in town carrie oh of course she might be able to teleport us across yep i mean it's worth a shot at least
by the rune's guiding light, Magical Girl Malore is coming to get ya! Understand. Is this the right? my rune lens power to help you cross this, yes? Uh, yep, just pshoo us across like champs. Can you do it? Of course I can. I am perfection incarnate. Great. Distance, nominal. Direction, nominal. Landing point? Well, I can't see it, but let's assume it's nominal. Oh, Carrie, you are a paragon. Yeah, but are you like a thousand percent sure here? Because the last time didn't go so hot. I have never made a single mistake in my entire existence, for I am perfect. Is that clear? Y yes, uh, ma'am. Fear not. I have a perfect mental picture of where we'll land. So? But you just said you can see. Okay, I'll be quiet. Now gather around and stay close. Despite my inability to err, I can't have you causing problems. You've got this, Carrie. I should probably mention that one blunder will cast us irretrievably into the space between dimensions. But fortunately, that is not going to happen. What? Uh, one moment. Could we just... Uh, uh, so, did we make it? Apparently... Though I've no idea how. Did you see those giant lizards? What was that? A blunder. That's... that's not true. It was just the scenic route. Right. Well, thanks for that. Shouldn't be hard. Oh. Let's 
Jesse, you catch these! Magical cutie missile! Take this! Ah, we're done here! That was a breeze! Do you want me to take you back? No, that's okay. Seems risky. Risky? Why is that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, we shouldn't pick on weaklings. Exercise. <sighs> thank you, thank you. You can reward me with a Not 
Exercise. <sighs> thank you, thank you. You can reward me. What do you make of that? I think it's coming this way! It doesn't seem to be hostile.
mistaken. Save it, guys! Any last words?
keep laying on the hurt. one. Remember, Carrie? Perfection. Yes! 
What you get? This magical girl just powered up. Hmm. Quiet, everybody. Look there. Yes, exactly. The former king's idiot son is utterly incapable of making up his mind. But I assure you, I will make him consent to this. Considering the debt his family owes me, he is in no position to refuse. Hmm. Very well. Just keep a level head, Lord Counselor. You still have time. Focus on making steady progress. I shall. Uh, and, if I may, has word of my efforts reached Duke Zaldric? Oh yes. And he rewards his capable allies most handsomely. That I promise you. <laughs> Music to my ears. And yet you demanded a contract written in the Duke's own hand. Not the most trusting of men, are you? Hmm. Is something the matter? <laughs> Nothing of import. The Dukes is pleased with your work thus far. Just see that you make steady progress. I will not fail you. Farewell for now, Lord Counselor. That conniving vixen! Who does she think she is? Still, if I play my cards right, my dream of sitting the Eucrisian throne may yet come true. <laughs> it's her! I knew it! The woman in the mask? Who is she? We saw her at the Rune Barrows, working with an Imperial spy. Interesting. But not as interesting as the story we just heard. In all his distrustfulness, Harlan has finally done something to serve his country. Yep. Let's go find that contract she talked about. Here it is. It appears legitimate. So we just take this and hustle our buns out of here? Yeah. That scholar guy would know what to do with it. There can be no mistake. This is a contract drafted by Dukes Aldrich. It's written in the same hand as his letter to King Yuma. Then we have proof of Harlan's betrayal. We do indeed. So now you, Chris, is gonna fight the Empire, right? Right, guys? Uh, will it, though? I think we may require one more push to help our king find his resolve. What kind of push are we talking here? If I may, Commander Noah, I have a little job for you. Very well. I shall head to the palace straight away and sow the necessary seeds. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what to make of this plan. Melridge clearly has something in mind. Are you feeling confident about those acting chops, Noah? Uh, m maybe? You can do it! Unfounded confidence is an actor's greatest weapon! The Commander of the Alliance can do anything if he puts his mind to it, yes? Uh, 
Sure. I guess. Here goes nothing. Changing things up, hmm. You're safe in my hands. Off with... Right away. Professional. Well then, your majesty, have you made your decision? All of you, Chris, awaits your word, for your actions this day could herald a bright new era for our kingdom. In fact, I understand that Duke Zaldric's research into new uses for runelands is his making great strides. I'm endlessly impressed at your ability to vomit out nonsense you don't believe in. Oh, you're a politician born and bred. Or perhaps merely a swindler. How many times must I remind you that you are here as an observer, Countess? Your Majesty, in light of the Countess's continuous interruptions, I suggest you have her removed. Your father would not have tolerated such impudence from a guest. Of that, I am certain. But... If anyone... 
one is removed here, it will be you, Lord Harlan. What? How dare you? You're up, Noah. Go get him. Lord Harlan is a traitor who has conspired to sell out Eucharis to Dukes Aldrich for his own personal gain. Traitor? Uh, personal gain? What? Who do you think you are? The fact you cobbled together some pathetic army out of defeated troops gives you no right to speak to me so. Unless you come bearing proof of this outrageous claim. I suggest you take your seat! My proof is this contract sent by Duke Zaldric to Lord Harlan. It says, and I quote, Should Lord Harlan secure Eucharis's surrender, he shall retain his wealth and status and be given high standing after the dissolution of the Sheerith dynasty. It's all right here on the page. This, um, well, the handwriting does seem to match the letter I received from the Dukes. You damnable varlet! Where did you get that? Oh! Ah, oh, no, no, you, you see here. Uh... It seems you are familiar with this document, Lord Harlan. N no, of course not. You betrayed me, Lord Harlan. Betrayed your king and your kingdom. Everything I have done was for the benefit of you, Chris. You must believe me. I... I... Cassius! Guards! Prepare the special chamber for Lord Harlan. I have a great many questions to ask him. You have it all wrong! I am no traitor! In fact, had your father still reigned, this need never have happened! But instead, we have you, Yuma! You! And you, Chris, cannot persevere with an heir so foolish and feckless! You are driving our kingdom to ruin! What choice did I have but to ally with the Empire? Get him out of here! Now! Do you understand now, Yuma? I, I mean, your majesty? Now that you've seen the contract, are Dukes Aldrich's motives not exceedingly clear? The man has no intention of allowing the Sheerith dynasty to continue. <sighs> Such treachery. If the Dukes was willing to do away with the royal family, what would he have done to us? <sighs> I choose to do all in my power to help Commander Noah of the Alliance. He's a man I can count on, and I will fight at his side. Oh. Apologies, Periel. Apologies, Lord Counselors. I just... I need a little more time. There might yet be truth to what Harlan said. Oof. Well, so much for that. I knew Yuma struggled with decisions, but I had no idea he was this bad. <sighs> Still, we've done all we can for now. Lord Harlan is in custody, so I will spend the night here. The rest of you may make yourselves comfortable. Just stay out of the back chamber. Oh, come on. I bet there's rows of beds in there. You can spare one. Fine. But just the one.
Noah. Are you all by yourself? I am. They changed the guards around this time, which gives me an opportunity to slip away. It's been my chance to go on little adventures ever since I was a child. Uh, not that I've ever left the palace grounds or anything. <laughs> that would be much too scary. In fact, this right here is about the extent of my adventuring zeal. I spoke to Melrich and learned of how you and Periel snuck into Harlan's manor to secure the contract. Periel really trusts you, doesn't she? No, more than that. She relies on you. How I envy that. Doesn't she rely on you, too? I mean, you're the first person she turned to when Galdia attacked, and she's still appealing to you now. She must really trust you. I would be delighted if that were the case, but is it really me she was counting on? Or did she merely turn to me because I happened to be the person on the throne? I adore Periel. The way she's always spoken her mind, even when we were children. Despite growing up in circumstances not unlike mine, she's never afraid to be herself and do what she wants. She's ever pushing forward. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't imagine what you've been through, but you look like a fighter to me. Is that not the case? Oh, heavens no. I'm worthless. Everyone thinks so, and they're quite right. Oh, I made a few clumsy attempts when I first inherited the throne. But I was never able to rule skillfully as my father did. And now, at the time of my country's greatest crisis, I still can't make up my mind. Instead of deciding, I fixate on all the tragedy my decisions might cause and simply freeze. Harlan had the right of it. I'm a feckless fool of a king. Who would ever follow a ruler like me? I just... That isn't true! That just isn't true! You aren't a bad king at all, your majesty! What? You are absolutely and completely wrong about yourself, and you mistake your kindness for weakness. I know how hard you work at being king. I know better than anyone, so please don't speak ill of yourself. It's everyone else's loss if they don't understand what a wonderful ruler you are. Thank you, Yulin. But I will never live up to my father. There's wisdom in her words, your majesty. People have you wrong. Indeed, you have yourself wrong. Now... I grant you may not currently be ruling with the skill and finesse of your father. But you're holding yourself up to a monarch with years of experience already behind him. Surely you can see how superficial it is to compare that man to a king who has taken but the first steps of his reign. A fledgling knight is no match for a hardened veteran. And yet... The youngster possesses something the veteran does not. A future. And I would not have you discard yours so lightly, my king. Oh, Melrich. You Lynn? Oh, uh, forgive me, your majesty. Uh, I was dreadfully out of line to speak to you like that. I will accept any punishment you see fit. Then your punishment is to tell me the truth. Do you really believe I can become a good king? <gasps> of course I do. You will be a, a kind king, and a great one, I I'm sure of it. Thank you. I will, or at least I shall try to.
I cannot express what an honor it is to fight alongside a man of your esteem, General Goldwyn. Mm-hmm. If I may, General, I hear we'll be entering Eucharist territory soon. When do you anticipate being able to report our victory to Dukes Aldrich? I must contemplate how best to compose the message. It is folly to contrive victories from unfought battles. A warrior must approach every enemy with equal sincerity. But who could Eucharist field who has any hope of victory against you? General Cassius is a steady hand who commands the love of his men, and I hear the kingdom is home to another formidable mind as well. And also... Yes? I take to the battlefield for our Emperor. Despite the great pains Aldrich went through to convince His Excellency of this campaign's merit, I do not fight for the Dukes. Good morning, all. I take it you spent the night here? Guys, you are not gonna believe this, Periel! Ow! Loose lips, darling. Come, Noah. We're leaving. Announcing His Majesty, King Yuma. Have you reached a decision, sire? If you require a messenger to go to Duke's Aldrich, I am yours to command. This is it. What's it going to be? I come bearing urgent news. Your Majesty. It seems an Imperial Expeditionary Force has been sighted. It is under the command of General Goldwyn, and outnumbers our army two to one. Double our numbers, and General Goldwyn! The man is said to be invincible. Uh. Your Majesty! I have always been a worthless man, Periel. I am incapable of making decisions and paralyzed with fear of how others might view me. I have ever been a coward. I acknowledge this. General Cassius? Yes, my king. Melrich? Your Majesty. For a period of two weeks, beginning now, I entrust to the two of you the entirety of my royal authority. You are to make every decision, for I have no doubt you are more capable of selecting the right choices than I. Call it a coward's conviction if it please you. Regardless, it is the best decision I can muster. What folly is this? Has His Majesty taken leave of his senses? Royal authority to a mere general and a lecturer at the studium? Say the word, Your Majesty, and we lords are ready to lead in your stead. The both of you must refuse this. It will plunge the kingdom into chaos. Folly from your fool of a king. Yet all the more reason to do it. Pitiful I may be, but I beg of you to save our kingdom. But... Are you quite certain? After all, what's to stop the General and myself from eliminating you should we come to enjoy this little taste of power? If that is your choice, then so be it. Were you to do such a thing, I believe it would be for the sake of the kingdom. 
your majesty. Long have I sworn my service and loyalty to House Sheerith, your majesty. But now, I pledge it anew to you, Yuma Sheerith, the man before whom I now take the knee. I shall answer the trust you have placed in me with all of my heart and ability. I do not know if my talents are worthy of the faith you place in them, your majesty. In fact, it speaks to their inadequacy that I have so clearly misjudged you. And for that, I must atone. Whatever shreds of wit and talent I still possess, I swear to you. As if any of this gives us a chance against the Empire! Your Majesty, it's not too late. We can still draft a letter of intent to Jukes Eldrick and... General Cassius. Any hope of successfully defending this kingdom will require the full efforts of her people and the full unity of her spirit. The army will be mustered, and the realm's efforts devoted entirely to its defense. Any who choose to publicly object to His Majesty's wishes will be executed on the spot. Mm -hmm. We did it! Now we can finally fight back! I'm not certain such jubilant optimism is appropriate. As General Cassius noted, it will require all the strength you, Chris, can muster to have even a chance of victory. And we'll be right beside you. Agreed. This is everything we've been striving for. Then allow me to formally request the support of the Alliance. You shall have it and more. We'll return to the inn and have Janequist beat the muster drums. I shall contact Emir and have him commence preparations straight away, milady. Send me. I'll get your message there safe. Shall I set this in motion, Commander? Do it. Ayup! Let's go beat him like a dirty carpet! They are certainly in for a surprise. Our victory is assured. The mighty Kogan alone is worth a hundred men. You ready, Noah? I think Periel already took off for the palace.
Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, we must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever, and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in. Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius. Melridge. Noah. Pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Mm. Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Ready yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial Army's here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking. <sighs> It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentine, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galdia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Yeah! To battle! Oh, 
What? A second force? Where the hell did they come from? Mercy Tactician Signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush! What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Advance! All forces, attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself. Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. Though if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, second lieutenant. <laughs> Have you be quiet there, thank you. Yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me! Are we ready? Oh, yeah. She's in a great mood today. Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant. General Goldwyn, I presume. Your reputation precedes you, General Cassius. Now, let us put it to the test. We've broken through. You impede me at your peril. while you can.
retreat will soon be an impossibility. At last, some damn order! Now form up and prepare for the next! If you have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel, then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost, but to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw. <sighs> Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! <laughs> Look at him run! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! You fought bravely and well this day, and you, Chris, thanks you for it. Now, we return to Haishan triumphant! Importantly, everyone is safe. Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah. Even I've heard of the guy, so I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may, who were those other reinforcements, and why did you not mention them? I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these sellswords, Melrich? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. A bit from the Royal Treasury and more that was earmarked for the Studium and Archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. <laughs> well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucris falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldrick wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. 
your brother. Yes. But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. All part of growing up, I suppose. But these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well, do it. Uh, this is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me the Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes. That's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all, and His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them? I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned and everyone's gathered at the palace. <laughs> <laughs>